Welcome to Crimson Guitars, welcome to a mini tutorial. I'm going to very quickly show you how to lay out a neck break angle of a guitar when you're designing it. And I, I've, I've been around the building, nobody else here has any other way of doing it. If you are trying to work out and accurately measure two and a half degrees, don't do it. It, it, it is pointless. Draw a full scale drawing of your guitar have the bridge that you were going to use and physically draw it. Uh, you don't even have to draw it onto a piece of paper, draw it onto the neck uh, or the neck blank if it's a through, through body or something like that. You, and even easier if it's not a through body, um, draw it on a piece of paper or basically plane the angle in and slowly adjust it until it fits, which is what we do most of the time. If you're worried though, uh, the very, very best way to work this out is just to grab a ruler and grab a piece of paper. Hell, wallpaper would do. The back of wallpaper, I, I designed hundreds of guitars on the, on the, the back of uh, rolls of wallpaper when I was uh, young. These days, eBay, printer paper, A1, whatever, you can get giant rolls of nice white paper for not very much. And, uh, and my kids love the paper too. Anyway, this is supposed to be mini and quick. so. Let's change the camera angle and uh, we will be back. Start off with a nut line and then a string. And my string's gone over my bridge, which if I was being realistic would be an issue, but I'm not. So let's just randomly say a 635 mil scale length. Okay, that is my string. <clears throat> you now need to think about uh, frets and an action. Now I'm just going to do this by eye. Um, however, essentially, uh, the average fret is about 1.4 mil high or so. The average action is about, mm, I don't actually know, let's, let's, let's say three or four mil. So we'll say four mil. Um, so without frets, we'll put that there. Okay, so that's our, roughly our fretboard. Okay, and then you'll have, I'm supposed to be doing this quickly, but I'm not gonna do all of them. All right, so frets. Now, you need to know what you are aiming your fretboard to be. Fretboard needs to be seven mil. You do want it to be as precise as possible. Okay, uh, seven mil fretboard including radius. So the size of the fretboard is probably gonna be six mil. And uh, it will look like that. Okay, so that's very rough at this point. I could spend more time being more precise. Uh, now, for the fun bit, you take your bridge and you measure how high it is. This is a tunematic, so uh, I know that it's going to be roughly uh, 14 to 15 mil or so, which it is. This is 15 mil high. And uh, I also want to build in some adjustment. I tend to say for a tunematic you want it to be 18 millimeters high at that point, which means that here your top needs to be 18 mil from where the string is. And that means you've got some adjustment up or down because trust me, if you work it out exactly perfectly and then make it exactly perfectly, you will, something will change. You know, the neck will bend or whatever and you'll have to adjust it. You'll have to adjust it and you won't be able to. Now, here's where we actually work out break angles. And I'm not working out a break angle. I'm just drawing a line. Now, let us say very roughly, that's our 16th fret or so. So our guitar is going off like that. Now, 
where you actually draw your line to is supposed to be at the body joint. So you've got this little gap. If you draw the line there, well, it, it depends. There's, there's, there's two uh, camps of thought, actually. Uh, if you draw it here, you're then going to have to carve the top. So with, a, with this, I'm doing a tunematic, I'm going to assume that we're doing a Les Paul style. So I'm going to draw that to there. 18 mil. And there is, there's my body. Now, well, Les Paulish says so 55, I'm going to say 50. And we'll do it, a junior style something. There we go, there's that. Um, now we have a top, so the binding will be there, just for fun. And that's all gonna be carved and go down to there and be lovely. Now, <clears throat> now, what you're going to notice is that never once have I tried to sit down with a protractor or, or with a bevel, a sliding bevel, and say, okay, I want three and a half, three and a half mil, uh, sorry, degrees. It's, it's, it's impractical and not easy. <coughs> Excuse me. And yeah, don't bother just draw it out. That there will then be transferred over to your neck blank. And you just say, okay, fine, well, 18, da, 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 and you're done. Or make a template and draw that on. Uh, so what, the actual angle here, out of interest, I've actually ended up with, <laughs> I've been saying three and a half a lot. Okay, we're at three. Yeah, three degrees. There we go. Uh, so if you don't want to do this and you want to sort of experiment, just uh, go for three degrees. But draw it out. And there we have it. It, it really is... And it should be that simple. This is something we are asked many, many times. In fact, I've made this video. This is the second time I've done this video, I'm sure. Uh, it is a question that get asked, gets asked a lot. How do you lay out the neck break angle? And it's something that people obsess over and worry about. And it does not need to be that complex. As long as you are physically drawing something with the actual hardware that you are um, going to use, then you can't really go wrong. Build in some leeway, two or three mil either way. Um, so you've got up and down movement. And you, it's, it's relatively simple. Uh, most guitar building actually is. I think. I think. I'm worried that uh, I've become, I, I've done so much of it that I'm, I'm forgetting how hard it actually is. But it, it really should be simple. If, if I can do it, any one of you can, seriously, 100% seriously. Okay, um, there we go. That is a minutorial video. Please click like, subscribe. Uh, if you fancy supporting us on Patreon, we would really appreciate it. Um, if not, I completely understand. I have a cup of coffee waiting for me and another four or five videos to film actually. So, uh, uh, well, it's coffee time. See you soon. Goodbye. Thank mm -hmm. you.